It's the story of one teen's struggle with change. In the film, uh, a person's childhood is represented by uh, different colored balloons that sort of correspond with the character's personality. And um, as the characters become older, the balloon starts to slip away from them and they have to make a choice at one point in their life. Um, they have to let it go or, or, or keep it close to them. Air Pressure is 17-year-old Ally McKay's first short film. The four-minute long movie has no dialogue, but uses the tranquil surroundings of Qualicum Beach to convey its themes of coming of age and letting go. I made sure to shoot the film on a cloudy day so that the uh, color of the balloons stood out quite a bit against the uh, kind of gray backdrop. And uh, I, I tried to make the rest of the film sort of uh, monochrome compared to the color of the balloons. Air Pressure is one of 26 films screened at this year's Young Filmmakers Showcase, done in conjunction with the Real to Real International Film Festival. The showcase brings together the best film and video made by youth grades 5 to 12. A mix of animation, uh, live action, uh, dramas, comedies, themes of loneliness, suicide, health care, isolation, and problems that teens face, such as drinking and driving being concerned about the minimum wage gap in BC. Awards were given for best sound, editing, direction, and best picture. This year's winner for best original screenplay went to Sam Masule for his thought-provoking work, Blueberry Haiku. 12 dots, and then it said, the 12 blue berries. What does that even mean? It's kind of against overanalyzation and um, the fact that you shouldn't try to find meaning in something that doesn't have any meaning at all. Sam says making the film was one of the best learning experiences of his life, and that's really the point of the showcase. It gives youth the opportunity to bring their creative visions to life. People from all over the world get to get together and st do what they love, follow their passion. Filmmaking isn't only for old people and famous people, you know, it can be for anyone. The deadline for entries for next year's showcase is September, which means aspiring filmmakers out there are encouraged to dust off their cameras and shoot for the stars. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express.